Welcome back to the shop. I am in the middle of working on my Logan lathe thing over there, and there's a lot of parts to it. Lots and lots and lots of parts, and it's probably months out before I ever finish that video. If, you know, anyway. On the top of what is the peg leg, the jack shaft that's down there on the ground now, is the drive belt and all the drive mechanism for the lathe. And I've got it all disassembled now. I should have videoed this ahead of time. But on top of that, somebody, probably my grandfather, had taken this lamp and adhered it to the top of the, that mechanism. Hopefully I can find a picture of it. In the early stages and it's a nice lamp I don't know anything about it it is Geist lamps model LBF the Geist manufacturer New Haven Connecticut US so it's got the cast base a nice a nice flexible arm that doesn't have any memory to it that's some of the modern ones you, you bend them and they they want to come right back so I like this lamp. I'm not sure if it's going to go back on the lathe. I, I think it will. But I want to rewire it, clean it up, make it look new again, or make it look, I'm, you know, make it look better than it does now. So I'm going to disassemble it and we'll clean it up and give it a fresh coat of paint. All right, so we're back here with the lamp that was on top of my grandfather's lathe. And I was a little frustrated and I left it alone and... Clay came over today and I made him take a look at it and he figured out how to get this thing apart. I was uh, a little being coy with it. And what we ended up doing is Clay ended up just prying this end section off. And then there's a, a membrane of some sort of a paper, tarred paper it looks like, on the inside of here that isolated this brass housing where the lampshade screws onto from this mechanism, which seems to function just fine. I prefer to have grounded things, so we're going to take this old ungrounded two-prong plug off of here, and then we're going to clean this up as best we can, and then we're going to rewire it with some paper and some captain tape. The paper, I happen to have this from wrapping them. Long ago, I rewrapped a choke coil on a Hunter fan, but this is the kind of paper that they use in high heat applications for motors and uh, transformers and such so there's going to be a little bit of degreasing probably some sandblasting because of the, the fascinating nature of this all the different facets on here so we will do that and then find an appropriate period crack cord for this and I'm assuming a cloth cord would look pretty pretty cool on this so we'll go ahead and get to cleaning this up and then I'll bring you back when we or at the next stage. Here's the globe off the lamp after coming out of the sandblaster. Well here's the lamp. I've rewired it with the cloth cord and you can see it's grounded there. A little bit of heat shrink and I'm getting ready to wire it all back together. Alright so there's the light imagine you know I'm probably much more impressed with this than you are but I think it's pretty cool and it's just got a I think it's a 60 watt LED in it let me turn the light back on and I'll show you what it looks like 